Wales is a very strange country. It tears at the heartstrings in a way that no other place can, say perhaps the Holy Land. Why that should be, I do not understand. It could be the combination of legend, scenery and history interwoven with a certain undefinable atmosphere that permeates the air and the rain and the soul. Wales calls one back with its unique language, its lovely green landscapes, its ancient challenging history and the music of the wind through its valleys and hills. There always seems to be music in Wales. It is in the speech of the people, the tongue-twisting names of the towns and villages, the rousing choruses of the rugby matches, and even the surging surf of the stern west coast. Of all the nations of the political and monarchical union that make up the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, Wales is the most British, yet still stubbornly uniquely different. It is the most British because it is the home of the people known as Britons, the descendants of the indigenous inhabitants of these islands, driven westward by invading Germanic tribes of Angles and Saxons, raided by fierce Irish and pagan Norsemen. The Britons resisted strongly. Welsh history is rich with stories of heroes and warriors who fought against immense, overwhelming odds and who often won.